Salut survivors, welcome back to Solito Cast Channel in Mountain Blade Banner Load Guide series. In this video guide, you will learn how to systematically win at the Tableau game, the game played in the Empire Taverns. This can be useful, particularly during the early game, to raise your initial cash. In part 1, I will be explaining the game rules, and in part 2, I will be presenting to you the technique on how to always win, so make sure to finish the video. If you wonder why I am naked, there is a very real and valid reason. <laughs> you should check out my good starting tips video guide to find out why. For now, let's make some cold cash fast and easy. Please share, like and subscribe for more Mountain Blade banner load videos. Now, let's go straight to the video. Part 1. The Tabloot Game Rules The game goal. When you play Tabloot, you can play as white or as black. White are the defenders and the black are the attackers. As the defenders, your goal is to protect your king and then to bring your king to a situation where he can escape by reaching a tile on the side of the board game. As an attacker, the goal is to hunt the white king. Game mechanics. Players play alternating turns. Black is the first one playing and pawns can move in straight lines, vertically or horizontally. In order to capture an enemy pawn, you need to fence it on the two opposite sides, either top and bottom or right and left. To be noted is that if you move yourself in between two enemy pawns, you will not be captured. Your pawn will only be removed from the board if the enemy is the one fencing you in. In order for you to practice a bit with the rules of the game, if you have not been playing yet, I would suggest to play a few practice games, some as defenders and some as attackers. To become familiar first, then you will be fully ready to implement the technique on how to always win. Part 2. How to win every time. As explained, you can either play as defender or as attacker. Playing as attacker is more risky, but it can still work, as long as you are patient and it is therefore taking more time to set up your pawns in an offensive situation in a safe manner. Therefore, the easiest way to systematically win, relatively rapidly, is to play as a defender and keep beating the attacking black pawns until there is door for your king to escape. Then, you need to utilize the following pattern. This lozenge positioning is extremely powerful because you cannot be fenced in. Every time the enemy AI would be trying to fence you in, he would be taking the risk to be fenced in himself first. So, what you need to do is extremely simple. Reach the ultimate defensive position, the lozenge, and keep waiting for the AI to make mistakes since the AI does not know how to properly set up an attack protecting its flanks. Then, once you have killed a few pawns, you need to prepare for your king an escape route. For this, you have two main ways. Either you will simply have a straight line from your king's safe position to the board side, or you will need to create this opportunity for your king. And the easiest way will be to create a fork, like in chess. What it means is that you will need to move your king a first time, to a tile from where he will be having two options on how to reach the side of the board. And obviously, in one single turn, the AI will only be able to block one of these two, therefore giving you a win. And there it is. With this simple technique, you will win 99% of your tablet game. You can gamble every time 500 dinars making it a very efficient way to systematically earn 500 cash when you enter a new Empire Tavern. 
then, with your newfound riches, you can finally get clothes on, so you don't have to walk around in your birthday suit all the time. Honestly, I think it intimidates the enemy player when they see a naked guy. Maybe it plays into the mix, that's why I win every time. <laughs> what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Of course, if you have any questions, clarification or suggestion, please let me know in the comments also. To be noted is that besides being useful during the first few days of the game in order to raise your initial cash for trading investment, you can refer on my starting good tips video guide on how to use it the best way. It is also useful later on when you will have the quest called In and Out, which is to help a farmer to regain his land title when he lost it in a tabloid game. On that note, let's toast to the like and subscribe buttons. I appreciate very much your support, thank you for watching and see you in my next videos. Hopefully, no more naked. Cheers.